saying words on her because of her praying for her. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Waguse hao watumishi watamke maneno mazuri juu yenu. Hallelujah. Amen. Wakitamka yanatimilika. Speak on your life it happens. Amen. Na wengine wakisema inakuwa tu ni lawama. And when others start saying you start blaming hata wachungaji wanaenda wanatafakari nini limetokea. Pastors start wondering what is happening. Ile, the last week. Kwa mama moja nilikutana naye. I saw this woman. Nikataka nimsalimie kwa furaha. Nikamwita kwa jina lake nikamwambia. Mama jana. I was like mama hi. Mama karinyamaza. She stayed quiet. Kamjongelea nikamupa hata mkono akosea posture and give her my hand thinking maybe she not listen to me. She put her hand in the back. Hata mkono akatala kulipatia. She didn't want to shake my hand. Hallelujah. Amen. Nilishangaa sana nija kwa. I was very surprised because something I've like done if I had to pack my usiku msima. I was thinking about it the whole night. Nasema kuna jambo gani? I said what's going on? What's wrong? Kuta kwangu kabisa kuna jambo na wale mama. I found myself not having anything against her. Hallelujah. Amen. Siaki watumishi wa Mungu waje kutafakari maneno. Do not allow the servants of God to start thinking a lot because of you. Bali so they can bless you as well. Na Mungu And God will bless you. Hallelujah. Amen. We're running with time. Siku ya leo. Today tunaenda kufundisha ndani ya somo linalosema. We're going to be teaching. Elewa vita vyako. Understand your words. For your bottles. Hallelujah. Amen. Anika. Right. Elewa vita vyako. Understand your bottles. Tunasoma andiko la msingi. We're going to read. Somaji wetu tayari. Wa Roma 13:11:16. Amen. Hawezi nikakosa kuwapa muda wa kuuliza maswali. I'm not going to have enough time. Na Juma ingine inakuja tukineemika tena kusimama hapa mnaweza kuuliza maswali. Ambao mko nayo. Naam. Tuki tuki uchua wakati kwamba saa ya kuamka katika usingizi umekwisha kuadia kwa maana sasa wokovu wetu huu karibu nasi kuliko tulipoanza kuamini usiku umeendelea sana na mchana umekaribia basi na tuyavue matendo ya giza na kuzivaa silaha za nuru kama ilivyo husika na mchana na tuenende kwa adabu si kwa ulafi na ulevi si kwa ufisadi na uasherati si kwa ugomvi na wivu muvaeni bwana Yesu Kristo watu msiuangalie mwili hata kuwasha tamaa zake amen bwana Yesu asifiwe besides this you know the time that the hour has come for you to wake up from sleep For salvation is nearer to us now than when we first believed. The night is far gone, the day is at hand. So then let us cast off the works for darkness and put on the mirror of light. Let us walk properly as in the daytime, not in orgies and drunken, drunkenness, not in sexual immorality and sensuality, not in quarreling and jealousy, but put on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for the flesh to gratify its desires. Amen. Amen. Nikiendelea bila kuzungumza jambo hili nitakuwa nimekosea. Hallelujah. Amen. Wakati mtu anapozungumza na wewe usiposikia vizuri na kuzingatia neno alilowaja kuzungumza hata yale yanayofuata baadaye hautayasikia ndio maana mtu anaweza kukwambia jambo na unamwambia rudiria nisikie so na ukiendelea mbele pasipo kusikia neno alilowaja nalo hata yatakayofuata baadaye hautayaelewa hallelujah amen 
Ninashukuru Mungu kwa ajili ya mwaka huu. I thank the Lord for this year. Maana kuna mambo Mungu aliyozungumza nasi. Because there are a lot of things that God has spoken. Kati tulianza mwaka huu tuliwaambia ya kwamba. When we started this year we told you. Yaka imejulikana na Mungu. These years are known by God. Mungu uliungwa kwenye ufumo wa miaka, nyakati na siku. The earth was created based on days. Na kila mwaka Mungu alikuwa anazungumza na taifa. And every year God spoke to his nation. Haleluya. Na mwaka huu tulipoanza kuna maneno Mungu alizungumza na taifa lake. Na yale maneno Mungu anataka tuitembelee nani ndani ya mwaka huu. Ndipo mtabarikiwa na ndipo mtafanikiwa. Haleluya. Nikawaambia ya kwamba mimi sitawatakia hewa. Mwaka wa amani. Mwaka wa barani. Lakini ukizingatia hilo neno la Bwana. Hivyo hivyo ndivyo mtabarikiwa. Bwana Biblia inasema hakuna amani kwa wabaya. There's no peace to the wicked. Haleluya. Amen. Tulisoma katika kitabu cha mambo ya nyakati wa pili. We read in the book of Ikuwa katika sura ya saba Chapter seven. Na ilikuwa mstari wa 14 kuendelea. Verse 14 uh, going forward. Nini Mungu alizungumza na kanisa? What did God speak to the church about? Nini hiyo kuwa ujumbe wa mwaka huu? What is the message that God gave us for this? Na kwa nini ninaurudilia tena? And why am I repeating it again? Kwa sababu kama haukuelewa ujumbe huu. Because if you do not did not understand that. Hata ujumbe wote utakaofuata baada ya ba, Baadhi ya mwaka mzima you will not understand any message that comes you will not understand lakini kama ulisikia huo ujumbe wa mwaka hata ujumbe utakaofuata utausikia and that coming message you also listen to haleluya amen Yuma yangu kuna watumishi wengi walisimama. There are a lot of pastors behind. Walizungumza nasi maneno mengi tena mazuri. They stood up and spoke to us nice words. Lakini nilipotafakari maneno haya. Wote walitembea katika mfumo huo. Kwa maneno yale Mungu aliyozungumza nasi mwanzo. The words that God spoke to us on you. Haleluya. Amen. Na ikaendelea kunipa uhakika na ujasiri. And you kept on giving me hope. Ya kwa kama Mungu amezungumza na kanisa. Nini Mungu aliyozungumza na kanisa? Yalikuwa mambo karibu mane. Katika kitabu hicho. Yanja mstari wa 14. Bwana anasema nini? Taifa hili. Liligeukie mimi Mungu. Hallelujah. Amen. Mungu anataka tumgeuke. God wants us to turn back to him. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Na wengi watajiuliza. A lot of us must Tumgeuke na muna gani? How do we turn back to God? Unaachoa ndugu wapendwa. You know beloved. Ni wakati tutoe maneno haya ya Mungu ndani ya kimwili. It is the time that we take all this words out of our flesh and then put them into the spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. Bibili inasema walio wa roho wanasikia maneno ya roho. Na kama wewe si mtu wa roho maneno haya utayasikia kimwili. Na yata kusaidia kimwili. Paulo akasema neno linaua lakini roho anauisha. But the spirit anayepokea maneno haya kimwili. Huyu tayari amekufa. Lakini anayesikia kwa hali ya roho anapokea uzima. Maana kimwili unayasikia lakini habadilishi maisha yako. Unabaki ni ule ule. Wewe umekufa tayari. Haleluya. Mungu namna gani? How do we turn back to God? Kwa hali ya mwili. Physically. Tafikiri ni kugeuka hivi. You think it's just turning around? Ni kwani naona huku nimegeuka. I used to face this way now I'm facing this way. Haleluya. Amen. Kumgeuka 
Ukia Mungu Turning back to God is letting go of your back. Hakuna tafsiri nyingine. There's no other meaning or definition. Hallelujah. Amen. Ni kuacha tabia zako. It's letting go of all the bad things you're doing. Unazo tembelea na. That you're walking in. Bwana sifiwe. Amen. Mungu anataka tukiukie. The Lord wants us to turn back to him. Jambo la pili. The second thing. Akasema taifa hili. He said this nation. Ninyenyekee mbele ya Bwana. Should humble themselves in front of the Lord. Niko ku message ya mwaka. I am on the message of the year. Haleluya. Amen. Kinyume ya kutokunyenyekea. Going against being humble. Ni kujinua na hili kibuyu. It's putting yourself up with pride. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Hawezi ukaziacha tabia zako kama ukunyenyekea. You cannot let go of your humble yourself. Bwana asifiwe. Praise God. Jambo la tatu alilozungumza nasi. I think that God said to us. Pamoja na kuomba. With prayer. Hallelujah. Amen. Wani geukia? They should turn back to them. They should humble themselves. Na waombe. And then they should pray. Hallelujah. Amen. Nimewahi kuambia kwamba Mkristo asiyeomba. I told you once that a Christian that does not pray. Kama gari limegonga nje. It's like a car with no engine. Nariona ni gari linapendeza lakini. It might be a nice car but it has nothing. Hallelujah. Amen. Because without prayers we cannot overcome. Pray. Without prayers we cannot overcome. What is this Amen. Yomana waita wote mkuje tumuombe. And that is why I'm calling all of you to come so we can pray to God. Tuna service prayer siku ya siku. We have service prayer on Sunday. Yale naita mimi deliverance service. I call it deliverance Nichumba service. Chama ombi. It's a prayer warrior room. Hallelujah. Amen. Mungu anaturekomande tuombe. God is telling us to pray. Hallelujah. Amen. Jambo la nne akasema. And the fourth thing is that Utafute uso wangu. Search for my glory or my face. Eboa ndio mwenzako ili mwaka ya kutafuta uso wa Bwana. This is the year of looking for God. Hallelujah. Amen. Wengine watajiuliza tunatafutaje uso wa Bwana? Many people might want to you to spiritually not you try to open your eyes, you cannot see God. It cannot be God. God told Moses, you cannot see him. But if you turn around, you're going you you to see my back. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's look for the face of God. In searching for His face is doing His will. Yes, Amen. Amen. Let us do the will of God. Hallelujah. Amen. And then the Lord promised us. He said that. If you let go of your ways, I am going to forgive you. Amen. There is a true meaning of forgiveness. Amen. I'm going to challenge you. I'm going to tell you that the forgiveness that you ask is not the answer But the true meaning of repentance is coming from one place. Now they're going to another place. Hallelujah. Amen. Chungaja ametangulia kuisema hapa. The pastor already said. Tutoke mahali tu. Let's go from one place. Twende mahali tu. To another. Na giza linatufuata nyuma. And the darkness is following us behind. Hallelujah. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise God. Vijana wa tatu waje hapa. I would want uh, three young Aki. people to come here. Na akina Hallelujah. 
I want to show you today's church. Amen. And if you keep on going like that, it's very sad. Because we're going fast, but it's all in vain. Hallelujah. Amen. I've already said that the chumming of repentance is going from one place to another. Hallelujah. Amen. God, forgive me because I'm a liar. Amen. You go from being a liar and then you moved. You do not go back to being a liar. Hallelujah. Amen. That's why it means of letting go. And then you're forgiven. Amen. These days we have many churches. We have a lot of Christians. They love the Lord. But they do not want to let go of their ways. Hallelujah. Amen. We go to church and we start repenting. Hallelujah. Amen. Then when they open their eyes, they start thinking, they start having bad thoughts. Hallelujah. Amen. You were dressed very nicely. They start saying, hey, 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 this one. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Bad thoughts. Hallelujah. Amen. And we just finished repenting. The church is not over. They are already gossiping about other people. And they have already asked God to help them about for gossip. Hallelujah. Amen. We're still repenting. Others are counting the lights on the roof. You're repenting. And then when everybody else says amen, they also say amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And that is why we don't our bodies don't end. Hatred is not does not end. Gossiping. Uh, separation. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Hold me here. Hallelujah. Amen. This is a today's Christian. This is a to our today's Christian. Praise the Lord. Then do not get tired of saying praise God. Then do not get tired of saying we're going to heaven. But they do, they do not want to let go of their sins. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. They proclaim the good news. But they, keep, they still carry the bishop. Their bishops and pastors. But they still walking around with the bishops. They are the prophets and prophets. They are warriors. But they are still on God's side. But they are liars. They are still pulling the bishops. They say we're going to heaven. They say we're singing for God. They say we're singing for God. I'm telling you today you're going to hell with your eyes open Hallelujah. Amen This is our today's churches This is our today's churches Hallelujah. Amen How I try to Instead of saying God forgive us they still are carrying the burden of sin. Hallelujah. Amen. Please let go of me and stay where you are. When we humble ourselves and repent in front of God, we moved. We separate ourselves from sin. They're not far. <laughs> You're not sin. You're servants of God. Hallelujah. Amen. This is the true church. This is the person who's going to heaven. The light of their sins. Amen. And they're moved. Praise God. You may have a sin.
This is what God wants. Hallelujah. Amen. And he says, after you've done that, I am going to open my ears and listen to your prayer. When God listens to you even for one second, your problems go away in your life. He gives you your vision and answers. If he gives you his attention, Hallelujah. Amen. But the only condition is let go of your sins. Amen. And he went on saying, I'm going to open my eyes and see you. We might keep on calling on God, but he has his eyes closed. We might scream and shout. And then problems keep on adding in like rocks. Amen. And then I'm going to purify this place. I'm going to bring my name and let his name be forever. The church, what do you want the name of God to be here? Hold on to what he said to us. Praise God. Amen. Servant, the servant of God. He told he preached to us about Daniel. Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego. These three guys in the house. They said to the servant of the king. They said, do not give us the food for the Lord, the king. We're going to eat our greens for three years. Hallelujah. Amen. The big question on this issue. We should ask ourselves why did they not want to eat the royal Hallelujah. food? Hallelujah. The royal food, the fresh thing. They hold on to their promises. They walked with the word of God. Hallelujah. Amen. The food of the king is very good looking. Amen. But they were really told not to eat certain food. In the Old Testament. They told them not to eat fish. 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 Hallelujah. Animals that are not cut are between the legs. This is something they were told. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Wasikule bata. They were told not to eat. Bala miguu yake ila kama tano. Because their feet are not in their toes. This is something that was not allowed in the Israel. Hallelujah. Amen. Nijapokuwa leo vimetakaswa. Don't now it's purified. Wakasema hivi akula vya mfalme. They told them this is the food of the king. They hold on to the word of God. They hold even when they got in front of the aisle, they said we're not worshiping this thing. Amen. Our pastor also preached to us about the big prophet. One of the people said, why was the little prophet uh, judged and the big one was not judged? Amen. You know that was already ruined. The king Ohabu. The Bible says that. All the, all the priests are going to come from the uh, the family of Aaron. And he changed the word of God. He started choosing his own priests. Hallelujah. Amen. And they uh, turned the altar into something bad. Amen. That is why pastors, when you pick people to stand here, be very careful. Hallelujah. Amen. They uh, made the, the altar dirty. And I pictured this thing as a movie. 
And the main character was the little Because it's the one who's given the word of God. Hallelujah. Amen. And when he was lied to by the big prophet, he because this city is dirty in front of the eyes of God. The big prophet said, No. An angel came to me and said, He said, Welcome home and eat the food. Hallelujah. Amen. The prophet did not think that. All these people were because the big prophet lied in front of the little prophet. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible says when the altar is dirty, even the prophets start lying when the prophet is lying. Amen. Dreamers start having bad visions that do not make sense. And the pastors translate the the pastor should be Hallelujah. before the altar. A person might come to you and say, I had a dream of a god. A god, a god a and you go to a pastor and a pastor is saying, hey, that dream. We need to find the meaning of the dream. We know that god, the meaning of a god is. Amen. Why did you want it to be fulfilled? A God was created to eat grass. Hallelujah. Amen. See, oh God, not for food. If you see germs like that, that is the, pro the problem is where? Here. Hallelujah. Amen. The altar was already dirty. And the big prophet started lying. Amen. And that is why a little prophet. Hallelujah. Amen. God said, Today you're going to be a lion's food. Amen. And we have a lot of people like that in church. We have an older prophet. We have a lot of them. Hallelujah. Amen. They're here. <laughs> <laughs> you think people just come from church just like that. They don't leave just like that. <laughs> when you see people starting to get out of the church, <laughs> it means the older prophet is here. Five things that makes the true uh, worship. Hallelujah. Amen. The big, uh, the older prophet has had already left God or his presence. Amen. The five things that the pastor taught us. With, if we don't pay attention or listen to what God says to us, when the year started, our worship started A true worship is what's done in our holiness. Hallelujah. Amen. If it's not righteousness, the worship is not accepted in front of God. The book of Isaiah, Isaiah says that. The book of Luke says that. There are things that you do and they're pleasing in front of your eyes. But in front of God's house is God. And in those days, there is a worship that is not uh, you gather here and worship God. People some people drink some realities. Some people drink and some realities. Some people worship idols. Some people are full of envy. It's not good in front of God. You're going to worship. You're going to pray. You're going to sing. People will be filled by the Holy Spirit. Without righteousness, that is not it's not accepted in front of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Some things we might see that is well in front of our eyes, but it's not accepted in front of God. Bring his words that are not the words of God in church. Hallelujah. Amen. That is why Christians should be very careful. Tell us when you hear me, ask me where is it written 
that. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I'm not here to tell you proverbs. I'm giving you things that are written. Hallelujah. If it's not written, don't say don't, don't it to me. Because it's a lot of issues that we have in church this day. And people think they're pleasing God or it's the will of God who all times is the will of a human being. Paul said, do not go against the word of God. Uh, uh, do not add or reduce. Because you're not be welcomed in the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Amen. We we'll walk by the word of God, which is the Bible, not new things to us. And all those, all those things, the pastors have been talking about the same thing of the word that the Lord spoke to us on New Year's Eve. Hallelujah. Amen. And we're going to talk about the same message to the whole year. And for those who will walk with how the word says, they will see the end of God. The Lord said this is a very strange year because there's going to be a lot of struggle. Troubles. But for those who will be with him, God will fight for them. Hallelujah. Amen. And they will be victorious. Amen. We've went far. But it's very important. But the briefing. So we can have a, an understanding of how the Lord is working with us. Amen. Therefore, do not forget about time. It says, understand your powers. Though I might not say much. Because your time is passed by. But what I'm going to say is, Shika. hold on. Keep it in your heart. Because this is the true meaning of being a Christian. Anything against this, you're wasting your time. Hallelujah. Amen. And that is why you should speak to the And they're all in the church. The first type of person is those people who come to church. But their eyes are looking up to heaven. The things of earth they're fighting with. So they can lay go of those things. They're holding on to the journey of heaven. The Bible says in the book of Revelation. For those who are of heaven, to think of the things of heaven. Hallelujah. Amen. That is one type of person. The second type of person. Those people are in the church. Those who come to church. They come to church. Just because they were welcomed. Hallelujah. Amen. They might come today or not come tomorrow and not come tomorrow. Amen. And they're here. They come to church and walk with all of us. Hallelujah. Amen. They don't think about going to heaven, but they go to church. They're here too. Hallelujah. Amen. The third type of person, if I do not gather with my people and I have a problem, who's going to help me? Hallelujah. Amen. If one pe a person if a person like that has a problem and people Kalisa don't visit them, the church gets trouble. Because that's what brings them to church. Wale. But there's some type of people. Hallelujah. Amen. Straight. Their eyes are looking up to God. They're going to heaven. If you curse that person, you're wasting your time. Hallelujah. Amen. They forgive. If you upset them, upsetting them is wasting your time. They bless you. Because they're focused with going to heaven. Hallelujah. Amen. Now do not forget We're talking about understanding your bodies Hallelujah Amen now we're actually entering into the actual I word. Know. It's going to be for a few minutes. It's not going to be for a few minutes because I'm going to keep on preaching on Sunday. Hallelujah. Amen. The first thing 
wanadamu amezaliwa since a human was born kaka vile utakufa so you die uko katika vita you are in a battle hallelujah amen ebu ambia mwenzako so you labor katika vita you are in a battle amen wanaisha sifiwa amen wengine vita inaanza tu wanapokuwa and some people their battle stop when they grow kwa maana mnaona hata watoto wengi wanapiganishwa ndani ya that is why you find a lot of children in the book of shetani harusi hata waone and other people have been scourged to the devil and that is why we pray for the women when vita wanapigwa vita because they are already That is why Jesus said let the little children come to you. That is why we dedicate our, uh, our prayers to the children. Hallelujah. Amen. So they can walk in the will of God. Amen. Sasa kila mwanadamu anakuwa katika vita. Now every human being is facing a battle. Hebu kumbuka Biblia inasema hivi. Remember that the Bible says wale watakao shinda. Only those who are the ones that will enter into the kingdom of heaven. Tuko katika mapambano. We all into a battle. Hivi ni lazima tushinde katika mapambano. That will become victorious. Usiposhinda. If you do not win. Forget for heaven. Hallelujah. Amen. Unaanza maneno ya Mungu anabebele zako. You think we please people with the words of God. God is very strict. Aliambia wana wa Israeli. It's all the issue of kula mema ya nchi. Usipokubali upanga. If you accept you see good things if you do not accept I'll kill you. Hallelujah. Amen. Ukiamini mnaenda mbinguni. If you believe you got heaven. If you do not believe you got hell. Maneno ya Mungu hayana lakini unajua ah The word of God is now please all you know what this and that. Hallelujah. Amen. What is us if you? Praise God. Ni sifa jambo la kwanza. I said the first thing is. Kila mwanadamu anapokuwa katika is facing a battle. Hallelujah. Amen. Jambo hili na mambo mengine matatu. This thing has up to three things. Ambao tunawezi kuita A B C. That we might call A B and C. Hallelujah. Amen. Mambo haya matatu. And this three things are. Hawezi ukashinda vita awayo vyo vyote. You cannot be you cannot overcome any war. Yazingatia. If you do not hold on to this. Viwe vita vya kiroho. But let be a Viwe vita mnacho mwa katika ulimwengu. Be in the battles we face in the world. Lazima uzingatie mambo haya matatu. You have to hold on to these three things. Hallelujah. Amen. Jambo la kwanza The first thing is Hauwezi ukapigana na adui wako kamushinde You cannot overcome or win against your enemy Hauja muidentifie If you do not know who they are Hallelujah Amen Hata Mungu alitumia jambo hili Even God used that thing Kaambia Musa He said to us Waseleze katika nchi ya Israeli So going is in the country of Israel Hallelujah Amen Why do waseleze Or send people to go and look over things because they had to know what they were getting themselves into. Amen. He sent 12 people. When they came back, he asked them, what did you find? He said, they said to Moses, calm down. Hallelujah. Amen. Those are not people their things. When we got there. We look with them very little in front of them. Hallelujah. Amen. We cannot fight against these people. Hallelujah. Amen. I think. And then at an edge. They're going to step on them. Amen. They said to Moses, there are creatures over there. And we're very little in front of them. And then Joshua said, those we can fight with Hallelujah. Amen. There's nothing. Amen. 
Because they knew the God that lives in them. It's greater than anything. If you know the power of God, you you will overcome. Hallelujah. Amen. Wa kifupi walienda fanye ni katika taifa la Israeli, katika nchi ya Kanaani. They went into the other uh, country. Walienda kupeleleza. They went to look over things. Aina gani ya adui wanataka kutupa? To pay attention to the type of enemy that they're fighting with. They're going to be fighting with. Amen. Katika nchi ya Kongo kuna vita. In the country of Congo there's war. Asili ilichukua muda mrefu kuidentifiete adui ni nani mwenye. But it took us a long time to know who is who we're fighting against. Vita hiyo ina vuruga vikali sana. And that war really ruined a lot of things. Haleluya. Amen. Ndio maana mnasikia kila nchi inakuwa na service ambayo wanaita service de renseignement. And that is secret service that is why every country has a secret service hallelujah amen wale kazi yao ni kuidentifiete their job is to find out who the enemy is na walifanya nguvu yote wakaidentifiete they try with their strength to know who their enemy is hallelujah amen na walipogundua adui ni wakanya kupambana na and they when they know their enemy were they started fighting wana Yesu asifiwe amen katika kirona katika kimwili ni Both spiritually and physically this thing kama wewe kwa mkristo hautaidentifiete adui wako and you do not know who your enemy is hautashinda vita you will not win this war haleluya amen wakati unaposhindwa vita unatekwa mpaka you're captured unakuwa mfungwa you become a slave na ni kwa njia hii watu wengi wamefungwa and so this way a lot of people are being moja na adui aliyekuteka mateka and you're in the same war with the enemy that have captured you haleluya amen Usipotekwa mateka unafanya usiamo. If you do not if you not captured you make a promise with the enemy. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Neno la pili. The second thing. Tumesema ya kwanza ni kuidentifiate. We said the first thing is find out who your enemy is. Hallelujah. Identify your enemy. Jambo la pili. The second thing. Elewa malengo ya adui yako. Understand. Kwa nini ananitenganisha? Of your enemy. Adui
Hallelujah. Amen. Now we're identifying our enemy. Amen. Our first enemy. Who might tell us our very first enemy? Hallelujah. Amen. There are some people say sin, the devil. Amen. And this is where the church has been confused. This is where the church has failed to find. This is where the secrets are. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. There is a lot of secrets. This is where the church has failed. It is a must that the church has failed. Who can clap for the pastor? Hallelujah. Amen. The first enemy is our own bodies. That is our first enemy. Hallelujah. Amen. This body that you're very proud of is your very first enemy of your life. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, if you fight the fight the wrong way, you're not going to win. Kwa mfumo wa mafundisho na kuelewa kwa Kristo, kama vile mmesema, like you've said, wakamkamata shetani kuwa adui wao wa kwanza. They they thought the devil was their first enemy. And the, the devil blinded them. And you cannot win against him. Wakati mmesema vibaya katika vita. When you're not standing right in the battle. Hallelujah. Amen. You know when God created earth He created us to be holy like he is We were righteous like the angels Amen And God was very close to a human being He would go into the garden and speak to the human being every day And when we betrayed God The enemy uh, brought a virus into us Hallelujah. Amen. Virusi, and that virus vita, tabia. is what we call character. Amen. Virusi, Those are the viruses the enemy Utakatifu has brought. Kimbia, and the righteousness ran out of us. And God separate, separated himself from us. Hallelujah. Amen. That's why the Bible says a person who walks with their character or their will is not pleased in front of God. Hallelujah. Amen. If you want to make God angry, walk in your own ways. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I'm going to the end, but I'm walking very slow. Amen. The viruses enter us into us. And the body that was righteous or holy threw that away. Amen. And the whole world was under the uh, the king the rule of the devil. We're all ruled by him. Amen. Mungu, but God ajabu, because of his unfailing love he realized that the person he created loves he cannot allow for them to be lost and then he sent Jesus Christ Hallelujah. Amen the work that Jesus came to do here he came to save us out of the hands of the enemy Amen the Bible says that we've been made to be new creation and, of, and all the old things have been forgiven. Amen. Isn't that what we believe? Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Then what happens when we're saved? You know that there is a secret that makes people go to heaven on that uh, thing. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. 
It's true that Jesus purifies us with his blood. Hallelujah. Amen. We're renewed. And all the old stuff are forgiven. It's forgiven. Amen. I thank God for giving us visions or opening to us to his uh, his word. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Because it's not a lot of things that this thing is built. And in which makes a lot of people fail to the body. Hizi, when we hold them to this series, we're going to be, become the joints. And we'll see the hand of God. We'll see the power of God. We'll become very happy. You see things happen you've never seen happen before. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. What happens when we say People think all our backwards are Amen. But it doesn't happen that way. They say, uh, kill all the bad characters that lives in you. Hallelujah. Amen. Human nature is also called an old person or bad character. Amen. When I say an old person, know that I'm talking about your old self. Hallelujah. Or bad characters. And uh, new, human nature is called uh, desires. A lot of people think uh, human desires is uh, desiring food, clothes, 
When I say I, <coughs> you are walking with your body desires. It's your human nature. Amen. The human or the body deeds. When I say that, I mean your ways. Amen. Sin is uh, nature. I'm talking about your nature. Hallelujah. Amen. The rules of the body is in its nature. All of those things. If we talk about each and one of them, just know that I'm talking about the human nature. Amen. We've already did our introduction. Next week we're really getting into the word. Into the actual word. And then you'll be able to ask questions. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And then the next Sunday, we're going to come with the medicine. Amen. Amen. We're identifying sickness. And the doctor does not heal sickness if he has no idea. If you say have a headache, he has to uh, measure and see where the problem is coming from. He might heal the head, but the stomach is the one causing the head to hurt. Amen. We're going to come with the medicine. It is a must that we become righteous. Our will or so our reason is that on the end of the days to, to see Jesus in the, in the, the same way we see each other here. We want to be able to see each other in heaven. Amen. The gates of heaven have been opened. But there have been temptations here. It is a must that we have accomplished temptations. So we can be able to enter the kingdom. The Lord promised us that this will be a year of teaching. That is why I'm going to ask you to be humble. We have good teachers. Na lengo la mafundisho yetu and the reason why we're teaching all these things ni kuyafanya mapenzi ya Mungu kama vile mwalimu alivyotangulia so we can fulfill the will of God like how the preacher said na mwalimu ametufundisha mengi katika utangulizi wa somo lake he taught us a lot of things into his uh, si John mtu mmoja anaweza kutuambia amechukua nini katika utangulizi if, if I may ask a person Tell us what they learned. He said our theme is understanding your enemy. Sasa na katika hali ya kuelewa adui ametupatia utangulizi. Mtu mmoja atuambia amechukua nini katika utangulizi wa somo hili. Amen. Wanafunzi lazima tujikaze kwa wanafunzi wazuri. Let us try and be good students. Amen. 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 tupatie kitu kimoja ambacho umechukua ndani. Nimechukua kujua Asante sana. Amen. Identification. Identification. adui wako. Knowing your enemy. Maana unapomfahamu ndipo utajua jinsi ya kupambana naye. Then you know how to fight with him. Amen amen. Ndio sababu unakuta pale Paulo yuko anasema ninatamani kutenda mema baba yanatangulia. Kwa nini au mchuwe adui? Why because you do not know who your enemy is. Amen amen. Amen. Kumbe tutakapomjua adui so I will after after knowing who our enemy is tutakuwa washindi. We'll become victorious. Amen. 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 Eh. Adui wako anaweza kuwa ni njaa. Your enemy may be hunger. Lakini wewe uko unaenda kupambana na kukosa mavazi. But you're fighting with looking for clothes. Utashinda hiyo vita. Will you really be victorious? Mpaka eh, kwanza umjue adui. You have to know who your enemy is. Neno la pili mwalimu tena ametuambia kwa utangulizi. Us in his introduction. 
wakati unaisha mfahamu adui kitu cha kufanya ni kujua malengo ya yule adui kwa nini anakuwa adui wangu anatafuta kitu gani kwangu amen amen ukijua yale malengo utashinda amen jambo la tatu umemalizia kwamba ni kujua nguvu za adui. Unajua? You know, kuna wakati mwingine mtoto mdogo anaweza kumpiga mtu mkubwa. Some Tumeona hata katika utoto. Uh, Unajifikiria huko mkubwa? Unataka kumuonea? Lakini want to uh, take mtoto anasema leo. Hata kama ni mtoto hautanipiga. Alafu anajisimama huko. Alafu jisimama. Unakuta watu wanasema eh anamupiga katika mtoto anamupiga anamupiga. Sio hiyo yule mtoto alielewa nguvu za yule mtoto. Amen amen. Anasema hata huko mkubwa mimi nitakuminya kwa chini nitakuangusha tu. Amen. Lazima tujue nguvu za adui. It is a must that we know the power of our enemy. Na hapo tutakuwa washindi. And then we will win. Amen. Amen. Asante sana kwa mwalimu. We thank our Lord. Tunamini siku ya Mungu ijayo. We know that next week. Kama uko na maulizo anda maulizo yako. Yeah, question. Prepare your question. Mwalimu atakuwa pale atakupa majibu sahihi. Our teachers our teacher will be there and give you an answer. Tutakuwa Will we be there? Yeah. 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 Let us tell other people.